Section 27 of Little Pillows, or Good Night Thoughts for Little Ones by Francis Ridley Havergal. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Twenty-sixth day. Satisfied. Shall never thirst. John 4.14. When you have had a treat or a pleasure, do you not begin to wish for another? When you look over your playthings or your books, whichever you happen to care most for, have you not said, if I only had just this or just that besides? And even some favored little ones who hardly know what to wish for because they seem to have everything, have not enough to make them quite happy. They want something without knowing what they want. Is not this something like feeling thirsty? And when you get the very thing you most wanted, it does not make much difference, for you very soon want something else. You are thirsty again. The Lord Jesus knows all about this, and so he said, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. First you see you are quite sure to thirst again. It is no use expecting to find anything earthly that will satisfy you. Secondly, Jesus has something to give you which will make you quite satisfied and glad. Thirdly, as long as you go on drinking this, you will be always satisfied and glad. You will be always satisfied and glad. Fourthly, you cannot get it from anyone or anything else. Jesus gives it, and Jesus only. Fifthly, it must be meant for you because he says whosoever, and that means anybody that likes. And he says, ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. And, I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Will you not say to him, like the poor woman at the well, Lord Jesus, give me this water, that I thirst not? Listen to his kind answer. Drink, yea, drink abundantly, O beloved. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give the living water. Thirsty one, stoop down and drink and live. I came to Jesus, and I drank of that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live in him. End of section 27